everyone. Hey, what? And welcome back to Dog and Partridge, the place of fine home craft ales. If you haven't met him before, this is my world famous brother, the one and only Alan Partridge. This is my brewmaster brother, Dave Partridge. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Evening, bro. Evening. How's it going? It's going great. Great. Absolutely great, because we're about to have beer. Oh, this is. <laughs> we're doing a video on a Friday night, which yeah. is a little bit different yeah. for us, isn't it? So, yeah. That's fine. I'm looking for some beers. Our new darts uh, t shirts. Hi. Hi. Hey. 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 I feel like a dart player, do. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's really? Hey. There's one of these we're in their way to uh, Nick uh, Eldridge uh, and uh, we just... Oh, he was the 500th yeah. dude, wasn't he? He was our 501 subscriber. Oh, oh, yeah. We're creeping up steadily again, so you never know. In a few weeks' time, it might be a thousand. Well, you never know. You Spread never the word. Know. Spread the word. <laughs> Someone's a t-shirt in it for you. Right. Serious business. Serious business. Beer. Beer. What have we got? Right. We're going back in time. We're going to do, again... Tiny Rebel Kutch. Ooh, Tiny Rebel Kutch. I'll be really back in a bit. These guys started brewing in their shed. Yes, they were own brewers too once upon a time. And uh, they were a big loan from the bank, basically built a brewery. Uh, so, and won championship beer of uh, England in, well, I don't know, what year now. So when we go in the bank then, bro? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, then, yeah, here we go then. Kutch. Uh, 2015 with championship 4. beer. 4.6 Welsh, Welsh? Welsh Red Ale during the Rugby World Cup. Oh, dear Lord. Anyway, <laughs> good luck to the Welsh, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, lovely. Uh, extract kit then. Yeah, extract kit. When this kit first came out, it was in like a smaller box, but uh, Munsters have decided to put it into a slightly bigger box because okay. it does come with four bags of hops. Two at the start, two at the end. Now, you know me as a designer, and I know it's not probably hard on a lot of people with that's a lovely little bit of packaging, that. Yeah, it is quite nice. Nice, nicely designed. Hello, lovely. Hey, we'll clip from uh, from Dino Rebel as well. Oh, wow. If you're right, that's good. I might send you one, like, didn't I? Right. Most right. important thing, bro, is... Right. Most important thing is, does it, does it taste yeah. damn fine? Let's see. You know, I forget how dark Kutch actually is. Well, if you hold it all to lie, it's a little bit bad, because you can actually see it. It's oh. like a red tinge. Oh, okay. Now, again, it's, even though I've had some findings, it's never really clear. It's not crystal, is it? No. No. But I think last time you did it, I don't yeah, think you I think uh, there's a slight problem with the amount of hops you put right, in okay. there. I don't know, but I've put all the hot loads of hops in all the beers clear, but hey. I'll, oh, I'll tell you what, that's smelling fun though, isn't it? There's a good strong Ooh, hop, a sense good. of malt hops mixed together, isn't they? That's lovely, that. Right, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, folks. You know what, at least the Welsh can make beer. That's not bad, that is it? Yeah, that's not bad, that is. You can see why it was Championship Beer of 2015. You can. And it's it's almost it's almost a bit old school. Yeah. It's a... I know that's going to sound stupid, but it's a beery beer. It's a beery beer. It's like a good, like, strong red should be. Yes, you know, very much so. ready mm. beer. But it's just got the right balance of mm. hot punchiness and dryness to the back of the throat that really, like... Gives a good old kick. And for a malt extract kit, that's got a lot of full rounded flavour in it, hasn't it? That, yeah, for a full extract kit, I think that's probably one of the best full Ooh. extract kits we've had. That's lovely. That's lovely. Is Talking it? which, does it go onto our 12 beer kits of partridge list? But, well, is it a 10 out of 10 first? Well, it was a 10 out of 10 before, and I think it's definitely a 10 out of 10 again. It's going to be a 10 out of 10 again, because for, for the quantity of the beer you're getting from a malt extract kit, that is, that is fantastic. So, I think I'm going to be prop man again here. Here we have, I don't know if you see that on there, look, folks, the ongoing, uh, what's it called, 12 beer, 12 beer kits of partridge. partridge. Here we go, look. Just um, a little bit closer, I've got to see the list so far. But, well, you can't because it's, it's kind of shady, bro, but there you oh, go. Right. <laughs> well, so right then, straight in at number 12, yeah. we have Munson's okay. Gold Range Continental Pilsner. At number 11, we've put Wolfers Wherry in. Uh, Al decided to put uh, Mango Drax Juicy IPA in last one. It was a good one. It was a good oh, one. That. Good so that's gone in at number 10. I've personally put Young's American IPA in at number 5 because it's one of my personal favourite kits, that is. He's in charge. <laughs> uh, so, do you think this ought to go on the list of 12 beer kits of partridge? If I'm honest, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the top 10. Considering the amount of beers we've tried and tested, and the amount of 10 out of 10s, I don't think it's. I don't think it's. I think it's, I think it's top twelve. We'll discuss this later. <laughs> I, I might be getting bar from Dog and Porridge. 
<laughs> it might be back on the 12 before you know it. <laughs> and next week there'll be a different bloke in his shirt. <laughs> I'm brilliant, Master. <laughs> we'll discuss it later. We haven't discussed it. He's in charge of the list if he wants it on there. He can go on there. But he is a good beer. I think it's a good beer. I yeah. think it should be on the list. We'll discuss later whether it is. Because or not. I think the next beer should probably be on the list. But again, I might struggle to get it on. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed for subscribe and you're about to find out what goes on the list as the weeks go past and where we're going to end up, what's going to be our star number one beer. That will be in the months to come. I'm so probably in our, being our Christmas jumpers by then. <laughs> next Christmas jumpers by then. <laughs> right then, I want to know what's the next beer. You see, now I know what this one is. And I reckon this should be in the top as well. Well, we did pro rogue it before, and I'm unlike the British pro me. I, I, I didn't have to bring it back straight to the bar. I just carried on pro rogue until I decided it was ready. I like shipyard, and, and, he, and he, he taunted me with it, and he took it away. So I had the available soon notice on it. So uh, the available soon notice is now going. Now off. we did this before, but should we mention the kit again then, bro? Yeah, the kit is a shipyard full grain IPA. It comes in one of these juicy big buckets here with all your gear in it. And the reason why we took it off before was I decided it wasn't quite ready. It did have a slight tinge to it. So I'm opening that to tinge yeah. has gone now. It's been uh, quite a few weeks more. Probably about three weeks since we last tried this. So, so there you go. So I'm the bar there. Get your laughing gear around that. Oh, oh, oh. See what you reckon there. You know what? That is crystal clear, isn't it? Crystal blooming clear. Look at that. Oh, it's got that shipyard nose to it. It's definitely got that shipyard nose. It's got, it has a, a certain smell. It must be the certain cascade and probably six lots of mixing. Can I get it's, that, I'm certainly get get, that. getting the citra and, and that sort of cascade. But yeah, the citra coming through nice and well in there. Yeah. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, folks. I still think he's got a bit of a twang. So do I. <laughs> Our plants are the same. It's good. It's good. But it's not quite as smooth as the shit beyond I drink in pubs. No, there's a slight, shall we say, over bitterness to one of the ops. Uh, yeah, the, problem with, yeah. the problem with all grain is it's a lot harder to get right. So I might not have the op at the right time, even though it does come with full instructions. I might not have drop, dry opt it quite right. But there's just a slight strong bitterness that's. Not quite smooth as a shipyard, but it's a good, it's a good lightning. It's 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 a good beer, but it's just got that twang on the back end that we was hoping was going to go. Yeah, but it hasn't. Yeah. It's still there. Yeah. Do you know what though? I what, think I the park grain kit was better. I agree with you there. Can I put the park grain kit? You on can this? put the park grain on. This. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, park grain kit of, of shipyard from Dark Rock Brewing goes on to our twelve beer kits well, for Christmas. The next available spot is number nine. Well, it can be on there. But it might come off because we might argue about it later. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what do you reckon? I don't know if I can give it a ten out of ten. No, even though it's a good beer, they've mm. just got that strange quiet tang on the back. And I can say again, it could be more. It could be up in the right place, mm. but it's still a good beer. Um, still a good beer. I'm going to go as close as nine and a half out of ten. Yeah, I'll go to solid nine, definitely. Um, you know, so yeah, there's no wrong with that. Because we'll be drinking that later. Oh yeah, it's business. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Mm. I do believe we've got a third beer. We have indeed, sir, yes. Oh, it's an odd life on a Friday night coming round my <laughs> We've got one um, from Brew UK. I don't know if you've heard of Brew UK. We haven't had many of them from Brew UK before. They do uh, their own range there. Dark Revolution, they call themselves, of their crafty brews. And uh, we've done one called Atomic. Obviously, this time there's no box. There's no it box. does come in a box. Well, there's, there's quite a nice uh, label, but he's, he's, he's yeah, screwed it to the, the pub. <laughs> if you go on the website, you download the pitch, you can print the, the, the beer label out, which is quite nice, actually. Uh, so, it is Dark Revolution Atomic Beer. It is a Session Pale Ale, and it is 3.8%. Hmm. So, what's it like? Oh, is this a full grain kit? This is say? a full oh, grain okay. kit. Now, the problem here with kits, when I say kit... This is Ooh, just one of those. It's a stressed look on his face. <laughs> because it comes with a weighed amount of grain. Okay, that's and good. it comes with the ops. That's good. That are not weighed out. Ooh. He's had this problem before. <laughs> not only they're not weighed out, they just give you a bag of different kinds of ops that you know you need to weigh out like twenty three grams and put them in at a certain time and so on and so on. But they are actually flour rather than pellets. 
I'll be on that, by that I mean the dip, hot flour. Okay, right, yeah. So the leaf, if you like. So, uh, so, so they are sort of like, yeah, the powdery, leafy type things. Yeah, yes. that dried leaf, if you like. Dried leaf, yeah. Um, now, but you get a big bag like that, and you've got to try and weigh a bit out, and it's like, <sighs> you try to weigh and leave uh, on a scale. Well, because uh, the stuff I do weigh work, uh, work, I weigh stuff a lot. What you do <laughs> is you put a bubble on it first, zero the scales. That's what I did, yes. And you still hassle. It's still hassle, it's just leaf, isn't it? It's blown away, it's <laughs> done in this, it's like, uh, I've put some in and I've got nothing, and i put some more in and I've got 40 grams, what have I got 24? I'm having a rant, I'll be all right in a minute. <laughs> a kit, a kit means your bags are already weighed out for you. What you've got to do is add them. I, I would agree with you. Uh, maybe they're thinking it's adding to the experience of own brewing yes. that you've got to do so much yourself. Yes. Well, I'm not going to do it all myself. I just want to buy a kit, would I? You're not going to go out and, and actually grow the hops, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, might as well, haven't I? I did buy a kit from um, Get The Brood, uh, an online recipe builder. And they even weigh the hops out for you. Yeah, hey, I want they 24 yeah, grams I'll, I'll of some stuff citra hops. Yeah. 24 grams of citra hops come. Comes. Yeah, that's what it comes. Anyway. What's the beer like? It's more important. <laughs> What's the beer like from Brew UK? So, um, this is a session pale ale. Well, you know what? That looks like pale ale. Looks like pale ale. It's, it's not, not, slightly quite, not to quite, quite crystal clear, is it, bro? Not a lot of nose. There's a bit of a strange kind of nose there. I'm picking up. I'm not picking up a lot of anything. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit like a... a bit like that on the ops smell when you put them in the back. He's oh, bitter. He's bitter. Right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, gee, God, gee. Oh, oh, sensitive bit on the video. Oh, Christ. Oh, yeah, my God, that's a bit sharp. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's such that sharp, it almost makes me laugh. Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's a good, anyway, <laughs> there's a good after, so we say, sharpness and dryness to the, the, the dryness. Good, good. <laughs> it just made my eyes water. The dryness is really dry. I like, unlike that of lemons, to be fair, raw. He's crying. <laughs> it's that bad. He's crying. I'm not saying it's actually bad. I think it's because we've had those. Other I things. would. I <laughs> don't know it's gonna make me drink well, it. Yeah. It's gonna make me drink it again. I think you've been a little bit prejudgmental there. I don't. Oh, <laughs> no, you haven't. Make me drink it again. <laughs> God, that is yeah. I'm sorry, bro. If you like sharp, dry beers of lemon and just lemon and a bit more lemon. Do you remember that stuff? That Smirnoff Ice you used to drink when we was a lot younger in the pubs? That, that, like, I'm, I'm never going to hang on to drinking that. Bit, bit of, well, I, <laughs> no, I saw the people drinking it. Um, <laughs> and um, taste. It's not like that. It's normal. <laughs> it's not the best, is it? Uh, no. Should not be having a session of that? In, uh, no, I mean, the cooks in the shipyard are fine. But it's supposed to be a session now. It's supposed to be easy drinking. Well, there's nothing easy about that. <laughs> And it has been in there, let me see what date I put on the boat, 8th of September, that's been in there. So that's what, about seven weeks ago? Six, seven weeks? That's how they took the enamel off my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, you can't say it's not uh, conditioned? Uh, no, um, it, it's just not to my taste, certainly. Um, it's very sharp, it's very sour almost. It's sour, it? sharp, bitterly dry, isn't it? Sour like lemons and it's, dry it's, like... It's not even got that nice dry enough back end. If it was super dry, then maybe I could accept it, but now it's... It's super dry to me. That is well, like... Oh God, oh God, yeah, oh God. Yeah, yeah, but that's like... Oof. So, number UK, not a very good score for all of us. So this one I can feel coming down. Time UK. <laughs> Where are we at? I, I, I then. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, do you know what? In a strange kind of way, I almost like it. He's lost it. He, he's actually lost it. <laughs> he's got that angry with weighing the stuff out. He's determined to like it. <laughs> Four hours it took like this, I'm going to like it. Um, God, I, I can't believe I just drank it again. <laughs> oh, I haven't. I think, I think it's just, it's just you know what? To. Um, we've been at beer festivals, and you get these um, these grapefruit, super 
super grapefruity beers. It's getting towards that a little bit, but no. That's why I think some people might like it. it uh, you might, That's yeah, why I'm yeah. warm to it, so I do like the really dry beers. This is probably drier than Brute Force beer that we had a few weeks back, but yeah. Um, that's not the best. Certainly not session now. No. But the more I have it, the more I'm the parts woman to it. <laughs> you, mean, you mean you've lost the sense of taste? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, a three or a four, mate, for me. A five for me. I'm going to drink that. He's, you're welcome to, mate. <laughs> oh, frankly, I'll stick with your coach. It's far better. <laughs> well, there you go. Then. So that's a couple of tens. That's a couple oh, of no, tens. Oh, no. There wasn't quite a ten. There wasn't quite a ten, but we're saying that the all part grain... The part grain version we tried was a ten out of ten. And that was it. It's on the list. That was from the same place, wasn't it? But in, in one it's of those, dark rock brewery. In, in one of those smaller sort of like buckets, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really good. That. So yeah, that's going to go on the list. Yeah, cool. Okay. And if you want to keep updated with that list and see what else goes on there, next time we've got a, a Young's Mockerpot. Ooh. We've got one of the old favourites again. We've got a Festival Razorback. Do not. Uh, and we've got uh, another one of my personal favourites. Ah. What we'll argue about again on the list is a Mango Jack's Pink Grapefruit IPA. Mm. <laughs> oh, by the way, just before we go and move on away from here, going back to the coach, Ooh. I did actually bottle some. Ooh. What I wanted to do, jeez, is just to uh, just compare. Uh, that's a bit like I'm overleading. Yeah, well, the bottle is going to give it a little bit of life, obviously, because uh, you know you put a bit that's of a lot of life in that, wasn't it? So. This is for all those people that are bottled in the own brewing community. I just want to compare the. Uh, I want to compare first of all, if I can, the clarity. Is it still not quite? It's not. No, I'm afraid. But it is clearer than you're getting out of the pump. I think because I can actually see through it. Actually, it's not bad. Now it's settled. Yeah, it's about that same age as I would have said. And this one's got a little fizzy bubbles rising to the top. Cheers. Mm. I think that doesn't add to it at all. Mm -hmm. I think that takes away some of the flavour. If you're drinking a uh, cutch out of a bottle, you're not getting the full flavour. To me. I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm really disappointed with that. Because that's lovely out, out of the pump, out of the glass. But out of the bottle, it just... Just loses it all, doesn't it? I don't know, it just kills it a bit, mate, for me. Well, there you go. Definitely better spread from the... Shock uh, revolution for me. Spread from the pump, mate, for me. Yeah, definitely. So there you go, there is a quite a big comparison when you were... Uh, on certain beers, when you yeah. pump, pump, pump a bottle and cake. <laughs> it's yeah. having an effect already. It's having an effect. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so again, just if you want to keep you updated on those, that's what we've got coming in the next time. Love and it. until then, it's a goodbye from him. Ah, and it's a goodbye from him. Do the root.